Good morning, guys. Good morning. I'm going to do some work behind the scenes, okay? So, we got love, and we got the Queen of Swords, and my daughter just got to school, so... Great day. Okay. So, <clears throat> you know, Six of Cups, Queen of Water. This is emotions. Okay. Um, emotions running high. Um, the Six is relevant. I, I don't know if it's September 6th. I don't know. You're like, oh, Claude, it's a six. No, there's, you know, it's something with a six. It is a number of harmony. It is a number, it's, it's a number of a lot of things, right? But I just pulled this by accident. <clears throat> you guys are going to laugh. This is a TV tray, old school TV tray. I dug it out of the attic, okay? I went into that attic the other day. I was like, I can use this. This is exciting. My kids are like, what is that? <laughs> so it brings me back to the, the reminiscing too, right? Six of Cups. But it's, I don't think you're necessarily turning your back per se to it. Not at all. I, I just think it's kind of like you're exhausted. You're emotional. Energy might be getting the best of some of you. And that's that's way too many, but I'll take that one because it flipped. Let me just see what these are. Ooh, double fours. So, <clears throat> got the emperor at the bottom of the deck. Another four. So that'd be four, four, four. Okay, there is some type of new start coming. I can feel it coming in the air right now. Hold on. So to me, this is clearly saying you need to have patience with yourself. Um, here's the thing. Oh, do I want to use that duck? All right. Let me three more. Let me three more. This wants to pop out. Ton of earth. Ton of earth. So you're thinking about either a family, a, a child, um, a loved one, okay, um, tower. Okay. The bottom of the deck, we now have the two of air. There is, there is an opportunity for a solid foundation. This is emotional. Once again, all this is emotional. Um, definitely have patience on yourself. There's, there's no question. You could be down with a score. See, this is just a two. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You got a Sag, but this is more taking it in, breathing, breathing it out, that type of energy. It, you're stepping into the unknown. Some of you, this might be a move. I don't look at this as confusion, I don't look at anything being concealed. I look at the moon is definitely healing some of you. Um, tell me about the tower. That's too many. The tower, the tower.
This is quite the journey that someone's on right now. Tower, please, the tower. Got the Eight of Cups. So you're pretty much walking into the unknown. This is all about your future with the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck, okay? Um, <clears throat> you know, I know this is slow, so I, I think it's, it's slow because I'm in someone's energy. Okay. In Eight of Cups, it's it's emotional, right? But you go towards fulfillment. You're going towards the unknown with the moon. Your future might be concealed, but it'd be temporary. But it looks good. It looks like there's a future with a soulmate. But it looks like there's a decision that needs to be made. And it also looks like you need to have patience. Okay. Um, I'm getting points pulled to my Ganesha cards. So this is this is going to tell you exactly what's happening. I don't feel like you're walking away from anyone, so don't panic. I think you're definitely walking towards happiness, future, fulfillment. You could be at a distance from somebody and it's it's just it's so much. It's it's hard, it's emotional. You don't know what's next. But, it, but if that's the case, like, it looks really solid. It looks solid. So I wouldn't worry if there's distance. But I think the distance could be causing your emotions to go haywire. And not distance as in you're not talking to each other. Distance, like physical, actual distance, mileage. What's happening here? Best advice for this situation, please. No, oh, hold on. Okay. I'm gonna just put a little friend, a little friend right here for you. Okay. Be candid. You do have decision at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> I don't want to block them, but I want you to be able to see them. Okay. So, it is essential to express your truth, even at the risk of standing out. The situation at hand is asking you to express your thoughts. In the past, you've tried to maintain peace by staying quiet or swallowing your own words. Have faith, be open, be honest, have communication. Make sure you're resolving each and every situation. If you're not sure where you stand, then ask. Since this card is about communication, it may indicate that someone has created a moment of clarity or will be coming soon. Be willing to communicate your concerns quickly and clearly. Remember to open up to others' points of views or arguments. Let the emotions flow without you trying to block them while looking for decisions or solutions. Ganesha prompts you to be wary, to come across the rough and uncaring when you communicate your concerns and ideas to others. Before you express yourself, take a deep breath in what it is you're going to say and con convey your thoughts in an understanding, in an understanding matter. Teal represents the throat chakra which represents both speaking and listening. The throat chakra is the gateway of higher spiritual realms. When your throat chakra is activated in balance, you have a better chance of, when it's not, it's miscommunication and misunderstandings. You're able to express your spiritual being. You're a good communicator. Speak honestly and speak from the heart. You're being asked... You're being asked if what you want is really what you need from others. Are you able to express yourself as an individual creativity, creatively? Your relationships are based on a truthful communication and true intimacy here. This card indicates go ahead and create your emotional balance and stabilize your life. 
which makes sense because we have this person and he has the stability. He has the emotion. He has the teal. I noticed it right off the bat, even with just my covering the thing itself, right? You even have the teal right here with the towel. Okay, teal in this card. There is distance. There's, there's no question. But this is patience. This is patience. Whole bunch of emotions all over the board. Absolutely speak your mind, even if you don't know how the outcome is going to go. Because some of you are keeping your silence. And this person, for some, is definitely part of your, your future, your foundation. Okay, just be true to who you are too, right? Obviously. Um, let me grab... I don't really see communication on the board, but if you're not talking about something, that tower is going to come in and make sure you do. I think what it's saying is you're not, the queen of water is not saying what really needs to be said. And if you are saying what needs to be said, it needs to, you need to say it in a, a little more gently. I don't see anger, but with the tower there, right? I'm not really sure. Tell me about the Queen of Water. Why does this keep doing this? Queen of Water, Queen of Water. The Lovers. Once again, there's a decision. But it's also a very strong bond. Tell me about the Tower. <clears throat> Two of Cups, damn. That's an extremely tight bond you have with someone. You do have temperance at the bottom of the deck, so it's, it's almost like you have it twice. You need to reveal the truth or speak the truth. But you need to be extremely patient with yourself or this situation. Tell me about the moon. Empress with the sun, who could be taught, you could be dealing with the Pisces, Taurus, Virgo. I mean, Pisces, Taurus, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio. Everyone's here, okay? But it's like you're looking at each other, it's unknown. I don't think it's scary, I think it's just you guys are going into the unknown. There could be someone else in the picture, but I'm not really seeing it like that. It's, it's speak the truth, be gentle about it. I did feel dainty energy yesterday. <clears throat> it looks like this is going to move forward. Tell me about the ten of earth. I don't see anyone being scared. I just think someone's not communicating. Oh, you guys are communicating but not really saying what needs to be said. The tower. So, <clears throat> you got some anxiety right here. So yeah, something clearly is not being talked about, spoken about. Could you be dealing with a scorp? Yeah, but no, this is the towers coming in to, to rip the foundation to make to make the situation right, to put people together who belongs together. Tell me about the tower. Because we already have the two of cups for this tower. Review your options, the seven of cups and a couple of the fell out. That's too many. The high priestess, use your intuition.
see, you have no choice here but to be open, talk about what needs to be discussed, hangman at the bottom of the deck, double Pisces, I don't know if it speaks to intuition. The biggest message I'm getting here is basically be patient on yourself, talk from the emotions for sure. There is a beautiful connection. It looks like it's, you know, in it looks like it's with a Taurus Virgo. These are the energies you're coming in as. It doesn't matter if it's sun, moon, rising, it's a planet, it doesn't matter. Venus. Um, or this is saying you're eventually going to get the clarity you're looking for. But to me, this is this is something that's going to grow. This is what, uh, what a connection. I haven't seen a connection come out on the board like this in a long time. I know it came out the other day, but like how this is being placed. It's been a while since the Two of Cups and Lovers have been coming out simon simultaneously like that. I just got tongue twisted. Use your intuition here. Patience. It's what emotion. But I think you'd feel better if you talked about it. Tell me about patience. I think someone's a little nervous because they're going towards the unknown that the Ace of Wands. Okay, so it's, you have that inner knowing too. I think you just needed some type of reinsurance for somebody. I don't, you know, this is obviously a collective message, but like this is reassurance for someone. Everything looks like it's running smoothly. This might be a little bump in the middle with the tower, but at the end of the day, right, it's still a soulmate, a solid foundation. This talks about a new foundation, speaking the truth, speaking from your heart. You've got a lot of major arcana here, troops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. This is the universe, it's, it's kind of in the universe's hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, actually. I don't see destruction. I see someone being torn. There could be another lover, but I'm not positive. If there is, somebody's going to get extracted. Someone's not speaking from the heart. I think that's why I'm feeling the hesitation or I'm not seeing the scary. I'm not seeing like the fear. The tower could be fearful, but like going towards the unknown can be fear I did see the nine of swords I just think someone needs to speak from the heart so I don't I think you're speaking from your gut and it needs to be spoken from your soul if there's something that's seriously bothering, bothering you when it comes to a soulmate situation, you need to speak from your, your soul. Because with the tower, it's almost like you're walking away, but you're also walking towards, because I have the Eight of Cups, so you're also walking towards fulfillment. But your fulfillment is, is so unknown. But there's a situation that's just like, it's, it must be so overwhelming for some of you, because this is all emotion. But when you're expressing, you're not expressing from your soul. You just, you know. I'm going to um, pull you one more garnisha for your best advice. Well, 
Well, it should help you, right? Because why is this person not speaking from their soul? <clears throat> There's all those fours from the beginning, too. <clears throat> A blessing scaring you, change scaring you. Just know that this, whatever this is, is protected. Ganesha is asking you to consider what it is exactly you want at this time. He asserts you with the desires what are actually in within your reach. The universe is conspiring to help you achieve your aspirations. We do have nine major arcana. Since the universe is in harmony with your desires, which was six. Ganesha is bestowing blessings and luck and love in new pro prospects. Be very clear about your intentions at this time. Once you have identified what exactly it is you want, Garnesia is going to clear the obstacles. Withstand, withstand the temptation of self-indulgence. This period will not last forever, so be sure to take advantage of it. Act when the opportunities arise. Resolve everything with triumph. The principle of the average works in your favor now. So basically, too, there's manifestations coming. The universe is here, right? It's possibilities. They're basically saying possibilities are endless. The range is is all over the place, from love to money, success, happiness. Garnesha teaches you that your blessings are continuous. The realization of these blessings may not be immediate or apparent, but just trust how things are happening. They will be showered upon you. When you go on through your life, and especially at this moment, it's external and beyond, and, and it's out of your control. True happiness and blessings lie within you, especially within your heart and soul. Okay, and we just talked about, you know, the heart and soul. So I, I hope that helps someone. Because I, I think is this is protected. But there's, there's this chaos. But like I said, the universe is here to take control of this chaos. I think if you guys are having a hard time communicating, especially with decisions here, you know, it is going to become clear. It is, it's honestly in the universe's hands right now. And what it's telling you is that you are walking into something a lot greater than you could even imagine. Not not fairy tale, but something pretty great. Solid foundation. Have patience on yourself. Have patience with this person. Are you soul searching? You know, I, I think I think you are, you know, but you're not speaking from your soul. Say Maybe what will help you is, say you're moving. Or say, I don't know, say, picture yourself moving away from this person. Even if there was distance, say you, you have to move even further temporarily. How would you feel about that? Does it make you sad? Are you okay with the situation? If it makes you upset and emotional, find a way to express it from your soul, not from your gut, because you're working off, your gut is, is what's happened in the past. You're in the present moment. Your future is in the present moment. The universe is going to make sure something out of whatever's happening with this group is going to go or it's going to end up fantastic blessings so right now it, it might not feel like it but I think you're aware of it if that makes sense but I think you're holding back okay so, hang in there, guys.
It looks good. Hopefully this transition doesn't take too, too long. Okay. I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. When I just looked down, it was 25. I love you. Bye.